Facts over feelings is what the Prime Minister should be about, but Justin Trudeau is just so empathetic and inclusive that he's all about feelings over facts. Welcome back to another video, everybody. I think you're going to enjoy this. Sit back, relax, and I hope, I hope that this debate brings you as much frustration as it does me. Pierre Poiliev stacks up against Justin Trudeau, and Pierre brings, of course, facts to the table, and Justin Trudeau, of course, brings rainbows and butterflies. But before we get into it, I want to encourage everyone to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet already. It does really help grow the channel. We flew bass, flew bass, flew bass, a bump, flew past 100,000 subscribers. Apparently, I lost my English along the way, and we're on route to 200,000. The only way we can get there is if you guys, a community, actually take time to hit that free subscribe button. It's tax deductible and it's good for the climate. Allegedly, so I hear. All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy this first clip of Pierre bringing facts to the table and Trudeau. Not so much. The tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. This prime minister is not. That's our government money going cost. to. Indeed, his carbon tax. Good work. Elementary budget officer has proven <laughs> costs sixty percent of Canadians more than they get back in rebates, is now opposed by 70% of Canadians. Everybody understands that the tax is driving people to the food bank. That's why six premiers, including the Liberal Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, have asked for a meeting. Will he agree to a televised carbon tax conference if he's so sure of himself on this issue? Look at that, man. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Pierre ain't messing around today. The Parliamentary Budget Officer has confirmed that 8 out of 10 families across the country get more money with the Canada Carbon Rebate uh, attached to the price on pollution than it costs them. That's $1,800 arriving for a family of four in Alberta. It's thousands of dollars right across the country. These are things that are helping people with the high cost of living and groceries at the same time as we fight climate change. But Mr. Speaker, uh, what would be also helpful is if we were able to deliver the doubling of the rural top-up to put hundreds of dollars in the pockets Very of Canadians, good. but the Conservative oh. Party is blocking the legislation oh. to double the rural top-up. Oh, Pierre leader, got the up for a mission. fight. Mr. Speaker, that is mathematically impossible that given that the NDP Liberal government has a combined majority and can pass That's anything right. it wants. <laughs> Which is exactly why we're in such a mess today as a country. After eight years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost. And that's why the Parliamentary Budget Officer confirms 60% of Canadians are paying more in carbon taxes than getting back in rebates. But why doesn't the Prime Minister, if he believes the contrary, why doesn't he have the courage to sit down in a televised and open forum and have a carbon tax conference with the premiers. Wow, man. Drop some W's in the chat for Pierre. That was solid. We did sit down with the premiers eight years ago and established the pan-Canadian framework on climate change that both puts a price on pollution and puts more money back in the pockets out of eight of ten Canadian families in the jurisdictions where the federal backstop applies. That is a way of both fighting climate change and helping with affordability. Now, not only are the Conservative Party uh, counting on pulling away, taking away those Canada carbon rebate checks, uh, they're arriving this coming Monday on April 15th. People will see in their bank accounts the Canada carbon rebate that puts more money in their pockets ahead of uh, the costs associated with fighting climate change. No, we've done independent polls on this channel. He met the premiers in 2016. Since that time, he's broken the promise he made them. He said the tax would only go up to 11 cents a litre. Now, he admits it will go up to 61 cents a litre. He said the tax would make people better off. Now, we have the Parliamentary Budget Officer's report, which confirms 60% of Canadians pay more than they get back. The Prime Minister said, and I quote in 2015, Canadians need a PM who will meet with the Premiers. What happened? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Drop some W's for Pierre. 
while the Conservative leader continues with his misinformation and disinformation, the reality is the Parliamentary Budget, budget Officer uh, said that 8 out of 10 Canadians do better with our price on pollution and the Canada carbon rebate. But speaking of misinformation and disinformation, any responsible leader uh, that receives an endorsement and support from proven conspiracy Alex theorists Jones. and liar Alex Jones would have immediately denounced that. But that's not what the leader of the opposition did. He did absolutely nothing because those kinds of endorsements fit within his political strategy. Justin Trudeau got endorsed by Hamas. <laughs> Is it just me? <clears throat> Whoa. Is it, is it just me, or does Jagmeet Singh seem to kind of copy Pierre Polyev's notes? It seems like he's run out of material, he throws shade at Justin Trudeau, even though he's in a weird coalition with him, and he throws shade at Pierre Polyev, but then he takes Pierre's talking points, and then he uses them. Next up we have, obviously, Jagmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau go toe-to-toe, and it doesn't really work out for Jagmeet the way he thinks it does. Here's the clip. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. From Burnaby South. Mr. Climate deny, Mr. Climate delay strike again. The COVID-19 <laughs> report shows that the Prime Minister what? is delaying $15 billion that he promised to hardworking Canadians okay. to lower their costs and their emissions. Yet the Prime Minister has no problem finding $18.6 billion in free subsidies for big oil and gas. Okay. So okay. why is it that the Prime Minister wants to put the shoulders or shoulder the burden of of the climate crisis on hardworking people and not give them a hand, but want to give billions of dollars, like the Conservatives, to big oil and gas yeah. corporations. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we committed to phase out inefficient fuel and gas subsidies, uh, uh, oil and gas subsidies, uh, two years ahead uh, of all of our partners around the world. We're going to continue to do that. But it's unfortunate to see that uh, the uh, NDP seems to be falling into the Conservative misinformation trap. Our price on pollution actually puts more money back in the pockets of 8 out of 10 Canadian families right across the country, particularly middle-income and low-income families, while we continue to fight climate change. Yes, Mr. Speaker, we developed a way to fight climate change and reduce emissions while putting more money in people's pockets. No. We're going to keep doing that. That's misinformation. Also, how are you fighting climate change with money? It doesn't make any sense. Paying the $15 billion for hardworking people, and that's wrong. Let the dernier... Last summer, children were not able to go out and play and have fun in the park because of forest fire smoke. And yet, the Liberals think it is smart to delay climate action. They send 18 billion in subsidies to big oil companies, yet are delaying 15 billion in investments for the climate crisis and to help people. Why does the Prime Minister prefer to put money straight into the pockets of big oil CEOs instead of actually helping Canadians? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Indeed, Mr Speaker, we see every single year the ever-worsening impacts of climate change and the costs thereof which uh, affect Canadians, our economy. And that is the reason for which we'll continue to fight against climate change whilst putting more money in the pockets of 8 out of 10 Canadians because this is a responsible plan that will fight against climate change and will help with the cost of living. Unfortunately, the Conservatives continue to say no to fighting climate change. They want to remove investments to help Canadians. That is where we're going to end today's video. Folks, I'd love to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Who had the best talking point? Was it Trudeau? Was it Jagmeet? Or was it Pierre Polyev? I'm looking forward to seeing what the comments say down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.